top trade negotiators from China and the United States have spoken by phone ahead of talks this week between their leaders at the G20 summit. Now, details are scant for now. China says Vice Premier Liu He spoke with U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer and Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin. They exchanged opinions on trade and agreed to maintain contact. Now, according to Chinese state media, the call took place at the request of the U.S. The Chinese and U.S. presidents are set to meet on the second day of the G20 summit in Osaka on Saturday. From Beijing, Olivia Xiong gauges expectations. Half a year after their face-to-face -face meeting in Argentina led to a trade war truce, Chinese President Xi Jinping and his U.S. counterpart Donald Trump are set to meet again at the G20 summit in Japan later this week. But the rift between the two countries has deepened, with trade talks reaching a deadlock last month and both sides returning to the old path of exchanging tariff threats. And tensions went beyond trade. Chinese telecom giant Huawei is now fighting for its survival after the Trump administration moved to cut off its access to key U.S. technology through a targeted export ban. The move has stoked nationalist sentiment in China. We have seen more of a rising nationalism, although it's more of a controlled uh, nationalism, uh, because China doesn't want uh, this to get out of control. Um, but for Xi to make more concession, uh, it cannot sell this domestically. One issue that Mr. Xi will not toy with in his discussion with President Trump is the political crisis in Hong Kong. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo had recently said that President Trump would raise the issue of Hong Kong human rights with his Chinese counterpart. Chinese officials here at the Foreign Affairs Ministry said at a briefing this week that the Hong Kong issue would not be discussed at an economic forum like the G20 as they also warned that it would not allow any other country or individual to interfere in its internal affairs, though the question remains whether other factors like President Xi's carefully timed state visit to North Korea could become a topic at the negotiation table. As talks between Washington and Pyongyang over denuclearization stalled, some analysts believe that Mr. Xi could use his sway over North Korea as a bargaining chip in trade talks with the U.S. In a business negotiation, if we're only talking about price, it very easily becomes a zero-sum win-lose proposition. But if we can bring more topics to the table, that creates more opportunities for a creative solution that is uh, a beneficial outcome for everybody involved. Still, any additional talking points may only make the planned meeting less unpleasant. The nature of the relation has already changed. China is the competitor, it's a revisionist, and the U.S. certainly doesn't want China to have this transformative 5G technology. Uh, the decoupling is happening. Against such a backdrop, the best outcome the global community could hope for is probably just for the status quo to remain. Olivia Xiong, CNA, Beijing.